Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome back to another episode, quickie, whatever it will be, of Unplug TV. So, the car, it is Monday morning. It is Monday morning and the car hasn't been moved since Friday afternoon. When I came home on Friday afternoon, I plugged it in straight away and it is still plugged in. People saying ABC always be charged. And I'm gonna show you what happens when you always be charged, when you leave the car plugged in. So of course the car had finished Friday night, Saturday morning at one stage and there was no usage of the car since and the car is still plugged in. I just uh, turned off the, I just turned off the charger and I will turn it back on now after I checked before and it was still on the same on the same I should have shown you otherwise you don't believe me do you believe me okay you just have to believe me the car has not used one single watt hour since the full charge on Friday night so within 48 50 55 hours there was not one single energy usage at all the car has not used any additional energy at all it was plugged in haven't got my mobile with me. What we can do is just open the door here. Okay, I will turn it on now. Again. And let's see what it does. Oh, come on, focus. Okay, it goes up to 700 watts. Okay, let's check again later how much energy it has actually used. See, it looks like it's it looks like it's recharging the car now, but it hasn't been used. So obviously the energy level drops a little bit when the car is parked, but not being used, which is normal for batteries. But you would expect, because it was plugged in, it recharges it automatically and keeps it on the highest level possible. But this is not the case. I have I have tested this a couple of times when we have been to um, holidays and haven't used the car um, at the destination. And it was plugged in. The car is not using any energy at all unless the voltage level drops unless the voltage level drops under a certain threshold, which I don't know. It, it, it must be under 95%. I have no idea what this threshold is. I've never reached it within days. Are you crazy or what? You've got the ball already. Are you crazy? It's freaking cold and he wants to play with the ball. So I don't know. Let's um, charge the car again to 100% and um, see how much energy it actually took. So the uh, Sonoff shows me the charge has finished and let's see what we have. 0 0.12 kilowatt hours and 10 minutes of charge time. So 0 0.1 focus, 0 0.1 amp, uh, kilowatt hours only. Not that much within 55-ish hours or so. But still you wonder why the why the EVSE is not coming on again and recharge the car automatically. And even if you leave the car for a couple of days, it won't recharge. Maybe it's not cold enough here, I don't know. Have you guys up in the north in Sweden, Norway, Finland, have you got any experience with that? I know you preheat the car, so the um, charger will come on again anyway, as soon as you turn on your um, heating. But I would would be interesting to know if the charger comes on at one stage and what this um, threshold is. Uh, well, probably it's up to me to find out again. Huh? So the question is with this experiment, is the battery management system actually turning on the EVSE at one stage again to recharge the battery automatically? Is there anything happening if you leave the car plugged in forever? Does, does anyone know? Does anyone has experienced the, the EVSE kicked in again? I mean, it, it, I know it kicks in when you do um, preheating or, or pre-cooling or whatever you can do. Um, of course, as soon as you turn on the heating, the EVSE starts again charging the battery and uh, supplying energy to the car. But if you, if you just plug in the car and leave it plugged in, is there anything happening after a week? 
Is there any power going in? See, the, the reason I'm asking this is because people are saying you should leave the car in to give it time to rebalance the battery. I doubt anything is happening at this stage once the charging has finished. Because if, if you remember, battery balancing is being done in the car by discharging the strongest, the highest voltage, the cell with the highest voltage. So we're destroying energy. So the overall capacity, the over... So when, when the battery is being balanced, we are losing capacity, we are losing energy. It only takes away energy from the cells with the highest voltage. So overall, we are losing energy. Should then the battery management system not turn on the EVSE again to refill this lost energy? And I, I must say, I have never, I have never seen the EVSE coming on again, regardless how long I kept the car plugged in. So I doubt there's anything happening in the car. And from from the energy consumption the EVSE has just taken, um, I would say that is that is just normal discharge when you leave the battery on a high level of charge. If we would see a balancing, there were should be more energy going into the battery. So I doubt there's anything happening at all. Second question, should you leave your car plugged in for that long? As, as you know, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan. I'm, I'm not a fan at all of leaving the car plugged in for that long. I would rather charge the car closer to the departure time. I am aware of giving the battery a rest time after charging to either cool down the battery if it's in a hot climate like here in Australia or to give the battery and the cells a rest time so the the charge can actually equalize in the total volume of the battery. But this doesn't mean you should keep the car plugged in all the time. I mean, on, on the other hand, as we have just seen, there's nothing happening. So it obviously doesn't harm the battery. Um, but if you leave it for two or three days on this high state of charge, it is known it's not good for the battery. You should not do that. If you leave it on a high state of charge for a night, that's totally fine. You leave the car for six hours on a high state of charge, that's fine, that's not a problem. But for several days, I would not recommend doing this. This will definitely harm the battery. So what is the point of ABC then? Always be charged. I don't know. The storage capacity of lithium ion cells is between 50 and 70 percent state of charge. This is where the battery does not take any harm, regardless how long you keep it. And that's usually what I do with my battery if I am not using the car the next day. I charge it in this range and then leave it there. As per the user manual, it is not mentioned anywhere how to charge the car. It doesn't say you have to unplug the car once it's full. It doesn't say you can't leave the car on a high state of charge for a long time. It doesn't say you should leave it at 50 to 70 percent if you don't use the car for a week. It doesn't say you can fully discharge the battery and leave it there. It only says you have to have one blue bar left when you don't use your car for a long period of time. Is this several hours a long period of time? Is this several days, several weeks, several months? We don't know. So guys, I, I would like to hear from you. How, how do you charge your car? Do you leave it plugged in once it's full, even if you don't use the car for the next one or two or three days? Or do you unplug the car and leave it still on a high state of charge or do you leave it a little bit lower between 50 and 80 percent in a healthy in a healthy area or do you don't care do you just leave it as it is and plug it in when you need the car again i would be interested how you treat your battery when you don't need your car let me know in the comments below as always guys thanks for watching thanks for your support this is andy from unplug tv australia signing off and we see you in the next video. Okay.
guys. Stay charged.